Have you been training your back for a long period of time, but you just haven't been able to achieve the thickness in your back that you've always desired? Well, there's probably a few reasons why this is happening. Are you not doing compound movements, the basic foundation movements to build the thickness in your back? Are you doing machine stuff and a lot of cable stuff, all the fancy shit? Well, if that's the reason, and a lot of times it is, I'm going to show you how to correct this problem. In order to build a thick back, you have to be able to perform the compound movements. And by compound movements, I mean you have to do deadlifts, whether it's deadlifts off the ground or deadlifts off the rack, and you have to do bent over barbell rows. I'm a big advocate on those two exercises. T-bar rows are very good also. I don't do them as much anymore. I pretty much stick to the bent over rows and the rack deadlift. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the proper form and technique that I use to get my lats and my back engaged in these in these compound movements. And when I take these in the high rep range, and you can drop set this, you can superset both of these movements, you're gonna get that crazy freaking pump in your back like you've never had before. And that's what this game is all about. You're chasing the pump. In time, you'll be able to stack some plates on, but you don't go to the rack with three or four plates on the, on the, on the, on the bar and just start deadlifting for all, you know, it, it doesn't work like that. You gotta be able to engage those muscles and put those muscles under a load. And once you've accomplished that, you know, the muscle engagement and the control of the muscles, then you're gonna have the feel for the movements and then you can start putting some plates on and really benefiting from these exercises. And I promise you, when I show you how to do these correctly, your back is gonna get the thickness that you've so desired for so long. So stay tuned, we're gonna get set up and I'm gonna show you some rack deadlifts coming right up. All right, I'm over here at the power rack. I am gonna do rack deadlifts. I have the rack set just below my kneecap, okay? You can go a little bit lower, but I've had an L5 S1 spine fusion, so my, my comfort spot is just below my kneecap. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna position myself in the bar, and my grip is gonna be just outside of my legs. I'm pretty much at the beginning of the knurling on the Olympic bar. I get into a position where my upper body's at a 45 degree angle, and as I'm pulling up, I'm already starting to rotate my shoulders up. So I'm pulling up, I'm coming up, I'm squeezing my back together. I'm doing a, like a, a shrug, but I'm squeezing my back together. I roll forward and I come down. Up, squeeze, roll forward and come down. And I'll take this into the 15, 20, 25 rep range. Depends how much weight I have on it. Right now I got a couple of quarters on it for demonstration purposes. And what this is doing is this is working all of those muscles across your back, your lats, up and down your spine. This is gonna light them on fire. If you notice my form is perfect, I'm getting the squeeze, I have the muscle engagement, I'm not about using crazy amounts of weight. Now, in my regular workout, I may have three quarters on here. I may have two quarters on here. It all depends on the rep range that I'm doing. I feel comfortable doing two quarter drop sets, but sometimes if I'm supersetting, I'll just have the one quarter on each side, and then I'll immediately go and do my bent over rows right after doing these. And you wanna talk about your back being on fire? Man, this shit's gonna light it up. So I'm gonna go over to the next rack and I'm gonna show you how to do the bent over row the right way to get full muscle engagement and full contraction of your lat muscles to help build that thickness up. So let's take it over to the next rack. All right, I'm over here at the power rack. I've got a 45 pound Olympic bar on just for demonstration purposes. And I'm gonna show you how I do my bent over rows. And like I said, a lot of times I will superset the bent over row right after I do the rack deadlifts. Great workout, crazy, crazy skin splitting pump. So sometimes I'll do a high rep set of rack, rack deadlifts, come right over here to the uh, bent over rows, 
or I just might stay and do my sets at the rack deadlift and then come over here to bent over rows. It doesn't matter, they're all correct. Or I might start at bent over rows and then go over to rack deadlifts. Again, it doesn't matter, they're all correct. What matters most is to make sure that you're doing the exercise the right way. You wanna make sure you get that muscle engagement. So watch how I do this, pay close attention. Again, I put my hands, my index fingers are on the knurl of the bar, the very beginning knurl of the bar. I get in the same position, very similar to what I did when I was doing the rack deadlifts. And I grab the bar, I step back from the rack, I get into that position where my upper body's at a 45 degree angle. I turn my elbows into my body. And when I pull back, when I pull this barbell up, I'm not doing what everyone does. They're doing shit like this. I'm not doing that. I turn my elbows into my body and I'm pulling the bar into my waist. And when I do this, I'm able to engage my lats and keep my lats engaged on the entire rep range. I try to keep my elbows in as close as possible. And I never stop the repetitions. My repetitions are continuous. I keep the lats under total engagement through the full repetition range. Just like this, I'm not bouncing this weight. I'm controlling this weight from start to finish. And this is what you want. Okay. When I was in here a couple of weeks ago, doing my back workout, there was some schmuck on the, on the rack next to me that was doing exactly what I showed you. He had all this weight on, and he's doing these deadlift or these rack bent over rows like this. And, and I just looked at him and shook my head, and he said something. He goes, what's the matter? I said, pal, if I need to tell you what the fuck is wrong with what you're doing, you shouldn't even be in here working out because that is horrible and you're gonna end up taking a trip to the orthopedic surgeon. Watch how I do it with a third of the weight that you're doing and I'm three times bigger than you. Did the light switch go on? No, he continued doing what he's doing. So screw him, I'm here to teach you guys the right way. Some people just don't get it and you know what? Sucks to be them. The goal of this channel is to educate you guys and to teach you the proper way to train. Like the training videos I have put out this past January. I have championship muscle training videos that go into so much more detail than my regular YouTube videos. It goes over the intermediate, actually beginner, intermediate and advanced training techniques that covers everything for everybody. There is something for everybody in these videos. It covers all the body parts. It covers the keto diet and reversing type two diabetes, which I did. It's also the contest preparation for competitors, male and female. It's worth the purchase. I'm telling you, the people that have bought these courses from me are giving me nothing but five-star reviews. There's so much content and so much information in these videos. I put my 43 years of knowledge that I gained through my coach, Bob Gruskin, and it's all in these videos. It's worth the investment and they're not expensive. With that being said, there's a link in the description to the Buy Me A Coffee shop where the training videos are. I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next episode of Championship Muscle. Peace out.